Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, J. Don King Hefner and the beautiful Cali Sun. And you guessed it, man. We back for this part two of this day. And what we're doing is heading to get a bit of a bite to eat. And Cali, uh, she did enjoy our first date, man, uh, to the Mexican restaurant. And by her being here a year, wouldn't it be appropriate for us to go right back to that Mex Mexican restaurant? So that's exactly where we're heading. We're gonna uh, pay our respects uh, since we've been together a year and go back to the place where it all started. So, with all that said, we are on the way. Hey guys, like I was telling y'all, man, in the last video, it seemed like it's getting easier and easier to be out with Cali. Um, I just think it's just becoming more tolerant. I know I'm not going to the same places, but I just feel like, man, the more I go out, the more it gets easier, and it's probably just me. Maybe it's just easier from my standpoint. And I know y'all can barely see Cali because she finally got a little shade on her. But uh, like I said, man, this journey is only getting better and better and better. Okay, guys, we made it to our destination. I used to call it wrong. I used to say Las Delicioso, but it's called Las Delicias. So, hey, here we are. We finna step out this car and get something to eat. Okay guys, we finna undo these brakes. We finna head on here and get us a bite to eat. At Las Delicias. Man, it's quiet, there ain't that many people here don't look like it, so we probably gonna be the only people here. Maybe one or two more people. And we ain't gonna complain about it either. I ain't gonna complain at all. The less people, the better, baby. Y'all see how I gotta work this but when you by yourself with the girls, man. Unless somebody come up, you gotta work it yourself. Ah, we got it. Oh my god. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Great to see you. Great to see you too. Thank you for helping me. I was just telling my friends that hey look. Zach, hey, it's, it's rough it's when you by yourself. <laughs> Thank you. It's sort of cool to be out at a midday because there ain't many people here. I had to get our food pretty quick. I'm trying to do your legs, girl. Okay, there you go. I let it down. I'm trying to adjust her wheelchair so we can get up under this table, man. We got to get up under this table. Harder than I thought. Ain't it, girl? Hmm. Oh, cool. Girl, you almost fell. Man, okay, guys, checking back in. It actually took me a little while to get Cali set up this time, man. Uh, wheelchair almost flipped her up out of y'all. <laughs> Y'all saw how I had to cut that video out. So uh, right now, uh, y'all miss it, but we already ordered our margaritas, so we waiting on that. Man, but like I say, it feel real good to be celebrating her birthday. Hey, I can't believe she looked this amazing after a whole year. So look, many more ahead, many more ahead. I can't wait, so can't wait to get these drinks. We're gonna get a little tipsy, and uh, hey, it's going down later on, man. We're gonna do some creative things when me and Kelly get home. Uh, and check out some good TV too, man. So we're gonna check back in when we get these drinks. Thank you. You're welcome. That was the drink that was water, y'all. So guys, this the setup. This the setup. 
Nice little spot, man. Nice little spot. Nice little spot. We love to come here and get a little bite, man. Okay, we're ready to make our order, and our order will be two tacos. Uh -huh. One chicken, uh -huh. one steak. Cilantro and onion? Yes. Okay, anything yes. else? And uh, one small queso. Okay, yeah. uh -huh. and that'll one be it. And one steak. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So look y'all, we making it light today, eating light. Like I just told her, a couple of tacos. And I'm gonna be honest with you, they tacos go a long way. And uh, check it out, man. Callie, I gotta pour her some of her margarita up in here. Get her started, so. Gonna show y'all, man, look, hey. We doubled up, baby. <laughs> Callie got hers, I got mine. And now, we also have some beautiful, beautiful chips, beautiful salsa. So, hey, we finna cut up, man. We are finna to cut up. Oh, see this girl here? Like I told y'all before, you gotta know how to feed the woman's man. Mmm. Yeah. I ate that just to make sure it's good for her. Yeah, I'm too. You like it, girl? She like it. So, we get these tacos, man. I'm gonna let y'all see how them looking. But right now, we got the place to ourselves, chilling, like business. Got our readers. Hold on, I gotta let this girl get a sip before y'all go. Get a sip. Oh yeah, girl. You gonna get drunk tonight? You still ain't getting nothing. You still ain't doing nothing. We're keeping it non-sexual. So, with all that said, we'll check back in and let y'all see what these tacos looking like. Yeah, Kevin. We made it to a whole year on these folks. They can't mess with us. Oh, yeah. She coming with our queso. She coming with our queso. Thank you. You're you are so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta show these folks this now. Oh, uh, mm, a whole little thing of queso. So me and Kathy spent to go to a town. Man, I just can't believe I made it to a whole year with this girl. She's still looking amazing. Like I got her straight out the box. I promise you. Brand new. This girl here. I'm telling you. When you got a woman like this, You're gonna always be happy. You're gonna be a happy pappy, I guarantee you. Man, let me tell y'all a little story before the food comes. But I was trying to tell uh, my grandma about uh, my ex had stopped by my house. I said she was gonna bring me all these clothes for Callum and the rest of the girl. Cause she wore XS and XSS. So she wore the perfect size for my girls. She said she was going to bring all these clothes. She said she might come back that night. I ain't seen her since. And she's always done stuff like that. But you know, back in the day, I probably would have been like, man, where she at? Why she, why she messing around like that? But you think I thought twice about it? No. I got my gals. And that's the, the beauty of these gals. Look, they going to be there for you. They ain't going to leave you high and dry. And you know what? They may not talk. Then the good thing about that is they can't tell me what some crap that they ain't gonna do. They can't break their word. So with all that said, I'm a happy man. And that's why Callie getting treated like she getting treated. Cause she is treating me the right way. So we'll check back in in a second, man. Okay, y'all. This is how you celebrate a birthday. Me and Callie got a steak taco and a chicken taco. And I promise you, they may not look like a whole bunch, but these jokers pack a, a punch, man. You can make like two tacos out of each one of them. They both come with two tortillas, so we finishing to get down, baby. Hey, man, I will say this. Boy, I can't believe after a whole year, man, how happy I am with this woman. Uh, like I say, man, and I promise you one damn thing. One thing I done learned is conversation is overrated. 
I love sitting here with this woman and her beautiful uh, silence and just chilling here, being my confidant. But I tell you this, and she can tell you that too. I talk to her a lot more than I did when I first got her, bro. Talk to her a lot more. But I just can't believe I'm at this point. I tell you, man, if you got one of these beautiful ladies and all you're thinking about is the physical, you are missing out. You are missing out. These girls are way more than the physical. But like I said, we haven't even done the physical. We just enjoying each other's company on a day-to-day -day basis, having all the fun in the damn world. So, like I said, man, doing stuff like this, spending time with her, being creative, all those things, man, they are just, you can't put a price tag on them. You can't put a price tag on them. And I remember I seen a documentary a long time ago about this dude who was saying, <clears throat> uh, this Asian guy who was saying, man, yeah, I have never had sex with my dog. And I was thinking, like, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, now, um, that guy. Because I understand exactly what he was talking about. Man, man, man. Me and Kelly got two full bellies. Man, this food was amazing again. Uh, if you living in the Memphis area, come check out Las Delicias. It's amazing. Uh, top of the line, authentic Mexican food. Uh, man, it's, it never disappoints me. And uh, this Cali's second time being here, she really loves this spot. But we are done, man. We done with margaritas. We done with our food. Uh, we taking a little bit to the house. And uh, luckily, I didn't get too drunk. Uh, so I can make it home uh, with the beautiful Cali at the right camp. Oh, yeah. You know she in agreement with me. So, with all this said, we're finna head out here to this car, man, and get ready to make this trip to the house. Okay. Me and Kelly are heading on to Hey, man, y'all have a great one, man. Hey, hey, great food, man. Hey, 10 out of 10. We love it. We'll be back. So, man, we finna try to get on out of here. Like I say, it's, it's a little hard, man, when you by yourself, but you gotta try to make it work. I'm pulling the wheelchair by the front, cause I ain't got no help. There you go. Whew, they got a double door. I made it out. That one. Then we got another one. Whew. I promise you, man. Hey, this the dog life for you, baby. Hey, nobody said it was gonna be easy. We're gonna bag out of here, man. It's like a bag here. Yeah. There we go, Kelly. The same way, baby. So, man, it's been a hell of a trip. A hell of a trip. At a nice place to eat, man. Like I say, it's a, a nice little spot. Everybody don't know about this in Memphis, man. But the ones who do, they'll go to sign right there. The ones who do, they getting a hell of a treat. Cause this ain't no text mix, mix. This is authentic Mexican. So we finna jump in the car, man. We'll, we'll check y'all for one last time. Okay, man, me and Callie finally got loaded back up. This girl been working me today, but she deserve it. She been by my side for a year strong, being that backbone that every man need. And we done ate good. Like I said, this is a hell of a restaurant. Lots delicious. If you ever in the Memphis area, you want some authentic Mexican, this is the place to be. But we have finished part two of her birthday celebration. Man, so you already know, we getting ready to head home. And so, for right now, it's been J. Dog King Hefner and the beautiful Caddy Son. We are out.